Hello, my name is Caleb Smith with the Rocket Miner newspaper. November is Storybook Month, and as part of that, the Sweetwater County Library System is hosting a reading challenge. They're encouraging families to participate, and for their own personal enrichment, and to, and to win some free gifts. Um, kids who read at least um, 10 books, and it's okay if they do so with the help of their family, uh, parents, siblings, grandparents, whatnot. Uh, those who get to at least 10 will receive a free book of their own, and you don't have to stop there. Um, those who um, log 26 books, um, you know, one for every letter of the American alphabet, um, those who do that will receive an additional prize. And in addition to the tactile stuff, um, we know from many studies that reading with kids um, provides um, mental stimulation, um, kind of sparks their imagination, and stories are one of many things that can bring us together. Um, I personally have many warm memories of reading with family members, and even sometimes when um, they're not nearby, I can return to an old book and I can still um, kind of feel it's better um, grasp some of those moments that still give me comfort to this day. You can get a reading log starting Monday at any of the libraries in the county system. Um, and it's just one of those, you just log them as you go along, um, turn them in at the end of the month. I would encourage anybody um, to partake of this. And honestly, you don't even have to have kids. I read a lot. We've talked about my bookshelves in the past. And honestly, there are some times where I turn to the, the youth kids part of it. Um, don't mind the cat running through, running through the room. Well, where I, I, I it's sometimes some of these classic stories um, um, still speak to me, remind me of good times. And honestly, there are some good lessons in many of these. Um, not to mention, just sometimes just five minutes spent with a book um, might help you reset your day, um, redirect your attitude. Anyway, I, um, I'm not going to read to you all because um, there are better people out there. I would suggest, um, if you're interested in that, check out some of the um, um, Sweetwater County Librarians. You can see a lot of them streaming story times or, or past um, tales that have been told uh, on their Facebook site and other places. Um, this is really more, even more, just even, I would say these are more recommendations than reviews. And I would like to start with the Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carlisle. Um, it's, it's aimed more for the younger kids. It's not necessarily something that I would anticipate a high schooler doing a book report on. Um, but it's a story about uh, many things. It's about um, colors, time, and change. Um, one of the things that I always especially liked about this book, and it still cracks, it's, I still get a kick out of today, is that as the caterpillar slowly um, has, starts out little and starts munching his way through um, steadily more and more items, I always like the fact how uh, there are holes that went right through all the pages, um, adding a little bit of tactileness to the story being told. And it doesn't hurt to have a reminder that as we go on, um, Taste change, appetites um, may shift, or you may require more, and you don't won't necessarily stay the same. Um, there are seasons, there are cycles, and what was tiny can grow larger, and may even further take uh, change form. Um, transitions are part of the process; they're not to be something to be frightened about, and we can't hold on to um, the past as much as we'd like to. Um, present keeps drifting into the future, and, and we should be thankful for the moments on the way, and we should be excited about what's to come. That's lessons that I personally get from the hungry little caterpillar. Anyway, like I said, I would point you to um, the Sweetwater County... Fi uh, library system Facebook uh, website for additional details or always to call the information line there's some very knowledgeable people on the on the other end of all that anyway I'm wishing you a good day and happy stories 
Bye.